Yeah, so it's my 22nd play. It's called Les and Ali's Big Balearic Adventure. And it's about a couple who, they're on their honeymoon and they've spent like all of their money and the rest on this kind of, you know, these big weddings that we're supposed to have. And so they've spent all of their money on, on this um, ridiculous event. And they get to the airport and she says, well, actually, I, I'm not sure if we've made a mistake, really. That was, it just wasn't a really very nice day. It was really horrible. And so basically it kind of starts off on that footing. But it, it's nothing about their relationship. They love each other really deeply. And they, but they're kind of full of banter, if you like. Anyway, they arrive in Ibiza and they're by the swimming pool. And Les suggests to Ali um, that maybe... Because you know what, like when you're on holiday and it's all lovely and you're just kind of good atmosphere and then, you know, you're having a drink by the pool and all that kind of thing. He, he just suggests kind of out of the blue, although it, we discover later on it's not out of the blue, that he suggests that perhaps they should stay there, that they should just tear up the plane tickets and they stay. And she's obviously done ridiculous, that's ridiculous. And so he kind of goes on this little journey of trying to convince her that maybe the UK is a... A horrible place to live now um, for many reasons and so it's kind of my state of the nation play a little bit so he suggests that maybe if we're going to be poor why don't we be poor in the sunshine and so I suppose effectively the premise of it if you like is just that well, why do we always say no to things mm. and so what happens if you say yes yeah, a bit of an adventure isn't it so yeah taking yeah, a yeah. risk yeah absolutely yeah, yeah absolutely taking a risk and just you know, not putting up with just the stuff that we put up with. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I can understand that. Bit. Why not take a risk somewhere nice? Yeah, stay, exactly. Stay what we've got to yeah. lose. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us a bit about the, the people that are acting in it? Yeah. So, just a two-hander, so it's two characters. Nicole Evans is playing Ali. This is my fourth time of working with Nicole. She's a really brilliant actor. She's just got great range and she's really good at comedy she's got amazing comic timing you know she's been in a tv film recently with matthew kelly and shobna Gulati, and she's been in a feature film with michael flatley called blackbird that was released um i think it was released in the middle of the pandemic i think so it's had a kind of a, a, a small release i think it's going for a bigger release so she's playing ali i was really 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 keen to work with her again because she's such fun person to work with she's just got this amazing comic timing and the person who's playing Les is Darren Langford and I think it's the third time perhaps I've worked with Darren Darren is probably best known for he was Spencer Gray in Hollyoaks for three years I think 10 years ago I think and so he's quite well known from doing that but he does mainly theatre now because that's just where his passion is really yeah, so Darren's a fantastic actor as well. And together, Nicole and Darren have worked together a few times. They did Patrick Marvel's Closer a couple of years ago, um, which is a great play. I knew that they would have good rapport, you know. Yeah. And because it's a two-hander, that's exactly what you need for this. So, yeah, so those, that's, that's the cast. Yeah. And as I say, it's here at the King's Arms. And what, what dates are they on? It's the 12th, 13th and 14th of July. Kings of and how much are the tickets? Ten pounds uh, or eight pounds concessions. That sound, sounds really good. That it sounds like something to really get your teeth into. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean it's been really fun to write. Just because I suppose I, you know, I, I kind of feel a little bit frustrated with the way the country is going myself, really. So it's kind of part state of the nation play, but also where we did a rehearsal reading um, in the Talleyrand in Lemon June at the beginning of January, and one of the things that hadn't really occurred to me that um, some of my friends said to me it was that you know that actually yeah it's kind of state of the nation but actually really it's a love letter to Ibiza mm. because I don't know if you've ever been, been to Ibiza but you kind of get there and it's just this amazing you know it's not not because of the clubs and all that kind of thing you know I mean that's the tiniest bit of what's good about it really but it's just there's something about the energy there really and just that sudden landing on an island where the world feels really okay. Mm. And so that's what I really embodied when I was writing that, I guess. So, yeah, so, so anyone who's been to Ibiza hopefully will get it. An escape from your troubles, isn't it? Yeah, much. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And that's very much what Les is doing. Mm. But I won't say too much about that. Yeah, that's what I'm I think you've whetted everybody's appetite nicely there for that. Probably when you say you've worked 22 plays, then I presume that you've done the fringe before, have you? 
Well, weirdly, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't actually, but I've done, I've put loads and loads and loads of my players on the um, King's Arms. So I was one of the, not a founding member, but I was one of the early members of um, Studio Salford, which used to be, I don't know if you've heard of Studio Salford, but, so Studio Salford, it was based here at the King's Arms. It started in about 2003, I think. And so I think I had my first play on here as part of 24-7 Theatre Festival in whatever year that started, probably 2004 or five, I think. And so, yes, yeah, so I had my first play on the 24-7 and then I joined as part of Media Medea, which is one of the in-house companies at Studio Salford. Mm-hmm. So yeah, most of my stuff has been on here. So yeah, I, I've done bits, I've done readings and things at the, at the Fringe, but yeah, this will be the first. 